Bear with me a moment. I'm just stuffing my face with chocolate. Mm. Mm. An important stage of any rescue operation. Mm. Oh. Mm. Right. Oh, hang on a minute. Thank you, Delta. Thank you very much, Delta. And welcome, everyone. Welcome indeed. I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Hmm. So. Oh. Holy fucking shit. Holy fucking shit. I, I, so I said it last night, but I'll say it again. I'm right on the very edge. The very cusp of burnout. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so tired. Um... So I've been trying to finish this latest YouTube project, and it's really, really, an almost so nearly done now that it's just so frustrating because you, you sit down and you do a test render, and there's so many things you need to fix, and you need to go back and... Uh. So yes, I am doing my best, but I'm just so exhausted. I figured I'd just take a break, just play some games, just don't think about work, just, just play some games. I didn't have the two prior weekends. I worked both last weekend and the weekend before that so I just need a I really need a weekend is what I'm saying um, for now I'm just gonna take a quick break and then get back on the editing horse soon so I can you bear with me just one moment just fiddling with the air conditioning because it's also quite warm in here uh, also next to me I'm big pun shark uh, next to me I'm joined by this little pickle so she's okay she got a bit soaked in the rain this morning got back and sort of grunt uh, she grunted at me then went over to the sofa where she's been resting the radiator is right behind her so she's she's nice and warm you all right honey bunny we'll get you dinner later fairly soon in fact mm. yeah thank you jailbait jack and jozo thank you both of you thank you very much and venom and don meister and delta and kangaroo intercourse so, um, yes, just to give you an update on what's happening then. So, yes, uh, the short version is the latest YouTube project is on its seventh week of work. Uh, I'm trying my best, but it is a bit meaty. Um, yeah, it's a huge, it's like one hour and ten minutes, so it's, it's, it's big. Um, yeah, so doing my best, but nevertheless, as you can probably tell, I'm <laughs> nearly defeated. Nearly defeated. Um, I look forward to a rest when it's done. So, um, yeah, as for right now, I'm just going to jump back into Subnautica and keep playing for a bit and just try to relax. So, welcome. So, for those not familiar with Subnautica, uh, we'll start that again. For those not familiar with Subnautica, uh, we are playing as a gentleman who appears to be the sole survivor of a very serious crash. A large spaceship called the Aurora has crashed nearby. I'm not entirely sure how many crew members were aboard, but thus far we've only found dead, well, we've only found evidence of people that have been killed, so I don't, so probably around a dozen or so at the very least. So what we're doing now is we're continuing to look for some survivors. I've used some of the stuff that I've found to build a small habitat, although we can certainly add to it. There's certainly more rooms that we can build, including upgrade facilities for the sea moth, which is that small submersible I've built over there. We're about 105 meters down in a sort of sandy red grass, I suppose, kelp field, I suppose, with debris all over the place, as you can see. And um, yeah, we're just here trying to survive. The original game, so Subnautica back when it was first released, was a pure survival game. It has since added a story, which seems to be, seems to be quite interesting. In that story, we've discovered that, well, the Aurora was actually shot down. It, it, it didn't crash accidentally, it was shot down by some sort of alien defense system that has quarantined this world. This world is called 4546B. Something big's right above us. Hmm. And um, yes, anyway, so we're here to investigate exactly what... Ooh, floating fish. Flying fish, even. Ah, bloody reef backs. They're just vibrating the hull. So yes, we're here to figure out exactly what the quarantine is, see if we can escape this world, and also look for some survivors. So yeah. Welcome. Thank you, Big Bangs and CD Nuts and Moo Hittle. Hit, sorry. Moo um Moo Teeth. Thank you, Multi. And Largo. Thank you, Largo. Right. Thank you, Kevin. We have a radio message. We received a radio transmission. Just, uh, 
Ooh. Signals on live pod. Well, coordinates attack. Warning, live pod has sucked beyond safe diving distance. Do not attempt retrieval without submersible support. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Okay, we have another potential survivor. Voice log, photo manager, beacon manager. So what was that? Life pod 12? 250 meters down. Sunk to the ocean bed. We can get to 200 meters with the sea moth, but we'd have to swim the remaining 50. Whereabouts is it? Switch off my drones. Camera 2's over there. It's two kilometers that way. Okay, we can have a look. Thank you, sugar cheeks, and double tap. Thank you. Right, let's sort out some food and water because I'm a bit hungry and a bit thirsty. Also, the base power is looking a bit naff. Okay, so bladder fish. I think we lack... Do we have any bleach? Uh, no. We'd need coral samples and... What's the other thing? Coral samples and salt? Okay. Ooh, pardon me. Indeed, my health is also looking a bit low. Okay. Let's get back into the sea moth, go over to the escape pod and see if we can retrieve... Yeah, just stock up on a few bits that, the, uh, that it probably has. And also get some food and some water from the uh, safe reef area. Let me just drop off the wrong storage container. Bear with. Metals, metals, metals. Whoops, now that's full. Anyway, how is everyone? Welcome indeed. How's everyone's weekend? Anybody up to, uh, anybody up to anything particularly interesting? Right. Ha. Ah. An hour long roast of the Daisy. <laughs> no, not really. Um, if anything, I'm ho I hope that this Daisy video essay uh, leveretta stands in contrast to most of the others who do seem to just go off on a screaming rant against Bohemia. There's more to it than that. There's way more to it. It's an interesting topic of conversation. Daisy, Daisy I mean. More important than just one dev. Okay. Oh shit, Lego had surgery. Oh shit, hope you're okay, Lego. Thank you, Flox. Thank you very much. Mm. Did I have to build this right under the reef backs? Well, they're not always here. They seem to come and go, doing their thing. Okay, so let's head east. In my submersible, the sea moth. I'm going to switch off his beacon for now. We don't necessarily have to investigate it immediately. Get away from the sand before one of these damn sand sharks jumps me. Sorry. Okay. Well, I hope you feel better soon, Lego. Move through the kelp reef on our way to the... Where's our drop pod? We can probably find it if we surface. Hang on. To crest the water. There's the aurora. There's our drop pod over here. Mm. Okay. Thank you, the feels. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you kindly. Okay, this is where we first arrived. Oops. Uh, not yet, Nikki. I haven't had a good look through there yet. Right, let's exit this. Okay, just getting back aboard. So this is where we first crash landed. Did I leave anything useful in storage? Some uh, creature eggs. Oh, we can come back for these. Grab this gold. Lithium might prove useful for upgrades. Silicon rubber, that would definitely prove useful. Leave these eggs in storage for later. Med kit, I'll take that. And I'll use it because I'm injured. And then I had an outdoor storage unit. Thank you, Backfire and Little Angel Wings. Thank you. There's the outdoor storage unit. Uh, battery, empty, fire extinguisher, nah. Nothing we really need there. Right, let me just grab some food. Just gonna grab some edible fish. A boomerang. And a peeper. Okay. 
seek fluid intake. Indeed. And working on it. Let's get out the uh, sea glide so we can move a bit faster. So for the people joining the stream, I'm just roaming around in the safe reef area. Grabbing some food and some water from the local environment. Radiation detected. Best be careful, I've taken off my rad suit. That is an anti-radiation suit. Hold the phone. Why is that not working? Did I, did I remove my gloves? Oh, rebreather. Oh shit, did I just drop the... I just dropped it, I didn't put it on. Oops. I just right clicked it and dropped it. Ha! <laughs> oh, I'm stupid. Um... Fuck biscuits. Oh, just to make a new one, I guess, but still. Yep, I'm a dumbass. I'm aware of this. Okay. Radiation suit. Fiber mesh and lead. Can't I just make the helmet? Does the helmet come separate? Thank you, Wobby. Thank you very much, Wobby. Let's just sort out the food and water situation. Hang on a minute. Thank you, Wobby. Okay, going deep down. Now, radiation's gonna be a problem, isn't it? Hang on. That was clever of me, not. Fiber mesh. Let's grab some of this. And lead. Whoopsie. Do, 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 do. Slot three. There's our fiber. Thank you, artillery. Thank you very much. Is the game. Yeah, it can get pretty chilling, especially initially. Okay. Thank you, Venom. Thank you very much, Venom. In we get. Just go underneath. Indeed, Wild. I did try the VR, but it made me very nauseous very quickly. Okay. Cook a boomerang. That's not very shallow, Fothan. Okay. Just cooking the fish that I just acquired. Seek fluid mm -hmm. intake immediately. Having a nom. Om, nom, Vital nom, nom. Okay, and then I'll use the bladder from the fish there to filter water. And make a bottle at the same time. Ah. <sighs> Thank you, Morgan. Thank you very much, Morgan. Okay. There we go. Right, we're sorted. So I'll bring this stuff back to the base. Decomposing creep vine sample. Let's use the fabricate to make a couple of units of fiber mesh. And presumably I'll need to find a bit of lead. Whoops. How much of that do I need? One or two? I probably need another piece of creep vine. Uh, we'll get one of those on the way back. Uh, radiation suits. Yeah, so two pieces of fiber mesh and two pieces of lead. Down we go. Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, uh, D Dajma? J sorry, Dajmilla? No, I've not tried that, I'm afraid. Okay. Whoops. Sorry. Let's head back home, which is directly... East? I need to avoid that camera because it got, well, not, didn't get attacked, but it nearly flew down the throat of a, um, wait, east, west, where am I going? Yeah, west. It nearly flew down the throat of a, of a Leviathan Reaper, or a Reaper Leviathan. Nasty buggers. Whoops. Alisong, uh, no, I haven't, uh, which I suppose is a good thing, but at the same time, it's still sad regardless. So no behavior difference with Lulu. So I'm guessing she can't put two and two together. For those not familiar, um, Lulu lost uh, so uh, her little doggy friend. Unfortunately, it passed away. 
And even though she's visited where that dog is buried, uh, she doesn't seem to be intelligent enough to recognise that something has, you know, happened to it. So, um, yeah, shame. Okay. Let's look for some lead. Ah, one of the tunnel systems that goes down into that unknown area? Never been down here. Need to be careful, I'll be approaching the, uh... Cave predators. Is there any lead down here? We should run the scanner. Go back to base, run the scanner. Find out. Sorry. Where's well, home? Thank you, Jabbo. Thank you very much, Jabbo. There it is. Uh, not yet, Zach. Not yet. Although one of the one of the rescue uh, requests I've received, it is in fact near the Aurora, so I may, may need to go over there soon. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. So, do I have any lead here? I'm okay, Sergeant Zero. I'm a bit overworked, if I'm being honest. Um, I'm just trying to hang in there. Okay. Salt deposit, copper, quartz. Bear with me just one second. I'm just going to turn the game down. It's a little bit loud in my ear. I might turn it up for you, though. Hang on. So if I turn it down for me, round about there. And then if I turn it up for you guys, round about three decibels. There we go. Yeah, just so it's not just so I don't feel like I'm having to sort of, you know, do the speaking voice, uh, the public speaking voice, over the music. Okay, drop off lithium, silicon. Oops, what did I just drop off? Ah, it's fine. Okay, I need another creep vine sample. Okay, whoopsie. We'll turn it down a little bit more. Sorry, it's quite. Quite loud. Pop it down there. Thank you, Shane. So let's go find some lead. A 3D map of the local environment. That's a nearby deep ravine. Who knows what horrors could lurk down there, eh? Lead. Thank you, Sergeant Zero. Thank you very much, Sergeant. So I'm just looking for any dense clusters that might be nearby. Scanning. We're losing a lot of power quite quickly. The scanner consumes quite a lot of it, it seems. Look, 258 power, and it's falling quickly. I dropped mesh in the ore locker. Okay, not a problem. I can come back for that, sta uh, Shanky. No lead in the local area? Probably just thinking about it. Okay. Welcome, Sergeant Zero. Welcome indeed. Thank you. Really? Have we consumed all of the lead in the area? Surely not. Okay. Might need to just go further afield. Thank you, Shan Shanonymous. Thank you very much, Shanonymous. And Savvy. Thank you, Savvy. Oh, sorry, my phone is doing wobblies. Uh, talk later. It's just my mum. Okay. Yeah, the orange mark is just one piece, though. Right. Switch off that scanner. Alright, we'll just go find some. Hmm. 
It's hidden in sandstone chunks. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is it? Is it not detecting the chunks? I thought that's what it would be scanning for. That's kind of shitty if it won't detect the, the chunks. That's where that's where lead is. Like here, it could be right outside our doorstep. Watch out for the sharks. Don't get jumped by the sharks. Titanium, copper. We'll grab it all the same. Can always put it put it in storage. Gold. Silver. Silver. Six percent power left on this. That could be problematic because I don't think I have suitable replacements. Gold. Bear with me just one moment. Lead. There we go. Ouch. Do you mind? Little bitey bastard. Dinner. Things about to run out of power. There we go. It's gone. I have no replacement. Yeah, no replacement battery. Okay, let's swim. Watch out for the stalkers. Don't you bite me, you cheeky bastard. Let's surface. Unless there's a bubble coral nearby. I can't see one. Ah. The Aurora. What's that? Uh, just a piece of the kill. Okay. What's what's my current mission? Right now, we're just trying to find other survivors. I'm receiving multiple beacons indicating that people made it down, or at least the automated system survived, but thus far, no other survivors. Titanium. Let's swim up onto the reef, see if I can get some of the glow mushroom things, glow corals. <laughs> There's a stalker looking for food. Thank you, Crunching. Thank you very much. These will be useful for battery production. Good, good. <laughs> Down we go. Charming. Thank you, Chibi. Thank you very much, Chibi. Yeah, I hope everyone's okay. Hope you're all having a lovely weekend. I'm looking forward to some Team Fortress 2 with the guys tomorrow evening. That should be fun. It's been fun for the last three weeks or so. Yeah, beyond that, I'm just trying to finish, finish this damn video. Yeah. Um, I'm struggling when it comes to rendering the sucker, or rather my PC is struggling. Uh, I was able to do a test render at a much lower resolution, so thankfully the problem doesn't seem to be related to anything, as in there's not some critical failure within the composition. Just something to do with my PC struggling to render it at 1080. It's 43 minutes long for this one video of three, so yeesh. Uh, Shiftry, it's uh, three video essays. So I'm babbling about survival games, this included actually, mentioned briefly, mind. Sort of talking about the rise of the survival game genre and its influences. But more specifically to do with the DayZ mod and what happened there, the, the unique situation that happened that at the time many developers didn't understand and uh, yeah, perhaps underestimated. Thank you, Mithy, and High Fly. Thank you very much. Right, we're still searching for more lead, aren't we? Let's go back down to the dune over here. <sighs> no, no, they'll go up on YouTube, Adam. Absolutely. 
that's where they will go. Uh, preview the other video essays aren't on YouTube, not th through some exclusive bollocks, but because I didn't feel they were ready, or felt they were kind of shit. And I'm a bit selective about what goes up on the YouTube channel. Copper ore. Lead. There we go. Copper ore. Hmm. Exactly, duck slayer. Yeah. Using my exact terminology, yeah. So internal and external PVE pressures. So yes, this is I, I mentioned that I mentioned Subnautica when it comes to survival survival stuff. So your character has a bunch of internal pressures, things that you need to satisfy. These stop you from staying in one place. They make you move around the map. And the external pressures are the hoops that you have to jump through in those areas. You can't just go la 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 anywhere you want and ignore the environment. Collectively, these two tools, I suppose, are the things that the developer is secretly... Sort of the, the strings. They're the strings for your puppet that's pulling you all over the place. Internal and external PvE mechanics. And managing them properly is one of the major tasks of the developer. And if you fail, it can have very serious consequences for the game. If you fail to properly design your internal and your external PvE mechanics. If your external mechanics are too weak, then your players won't respect the survival elements of the world and they'll just treat it as a deathmatch or whatever. Too strong and your players won't move. Likewise, your internal mechanics, if they're too strong, then new players will just be punished horrendously. And too weak? Well again, same as the former. No one will, no one will respect the survival game. Thank you, Anfield. Thank you very much, Anfield. Yes, indeed. I left the Seamoth behind because I had my Sea Glide, but the Sea Glide has just run out of power. Thank you, Mrs. Smithy. Sorry, Mr. Smithy. Thank you very much, Mr. Smithy. Okay. Thank you, Haos. Thank you very much, Haos. Hey, here we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Alrighty then. Battery. Thank you, Chaotic Blessing. Thank you, sir. Three batteries. Exchange power source. Recharged. While we're here, may as well. Recharged. So that's why the Daisy mod went from scary don't shoot to a game of shoot or get that that's different that's something else but um i i would actually argue uh, the gantu it's one of the reasons that rust turned into a shoot on site fest immediately it's because their pve mechanics their pve internal and external were so incredibly weak um yeah so the wolves and the bears just didn't work they would just wander around the environment or get glitched in the terrain for years and years. They had no zombies that were attracted to noise, so that meant for an external mechanic, no one had to give a shit. You could make as much noise and go wherever you want, people would just run naked from coast to coast, no problem. And your internal? Well, you could just get rainwater. And food? It was everywhere. So, yeah, it wasn't really a survival game for many years after Rust was released, which is one of the reasons it just decayed into a deathmatch because no one gave a shit about the environment and the environment had no effect on anybody. Sorry, could you bear with me just one moment? Sorry, but I'm just making disgusting noises. I just wanted to mute the microphone. Okay, just pop these empty batteries away. Might be able to recharge these later. There we go. Got a bit of food. Might as well just pop it in here for now. Keep it safe. Filtered water, hang on to that. Um, right, creep vine sample, lead. Uh, damn, I needed one more creep vine sample. We'll just quickly dash to a nearby kelp, feed, uh, kelp field and grab some. Whoop. Indeed I did, Hollow, but alas, I didn't play Ark enough. 
to have a, a, a deep enough dive into its mechanics. I only really played it briefly. Mm. But yes, Ark is another good example, just of a of the the archetype as in this genre, as in open world survival with nebulous PvP or unprompted PvP. Um, where am I going? Northeast, north. I'm going. No, I don't want to go that way because then I'm going to get eaten by a reaper, I think. Do I want to go this way? Where's the kelp field? Thank you, Die Worst. Thank you very much, Die. And Slashed. Thank you, Slashed. Aha. Uh, I haven't coding, but I did mention it briefly. Tarkov. There we go. Oop, inventory full. Back to base. Thank you, um, Z Allow. Thank you very much, Z. Thank you. This is a reef back. It's basically a whale. Okay. Oh, I didn't have to go as far for the, uh, the battery corals. There we go. Right, let's replace... Hang on, so fibres... There we go. Go here, drop the remaining creep vine samples. They'll get, they'll get melched up and turned into biofuel. Lovely jubbly. Grab the... whoops, wrong container. Grab the fibre mesh. Uh, hold the tick. Hold on a tick. Here it is. Sweet. And then build a replacement radiation suit because I'm stupid and I drop my... Indeed, I have played it, Stenny. Okay, I don't need all of this, I just need the helmet. Okay, put the rest in storage. Uh, bugger, probably can't. New storage device then. Let's go and pop this here. And build a wall mounted locker. Whoop! Sweet. Pop that there, and pop that there. Okay, salt deposit, salt deposit, leave these behind. Right, let's go and see if we can find another survivor. So, the previous transmissions that I received gave me be beacon coordinates for life pod 12. Um, more recently though, I received a photo manager, not that. I received an actual, hang on, big old fish, signal corrupted. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to data bank. Oh yes, data bank. So I got a couple of pictures from the automated systems aboard some of the drop pods. So blueprints, data downloads, Aurora survivors. Here we go. So officer, yeah, the officers are dead. Rendezvous voice log. Codes and clues. <coughs> Here we go. So this is one of them, Life Pod 6. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod 6, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analysed. Crew requested assistance navigating radiation, so they must be near the Aurora. So they can't be in this grass field. Sunk to approximately 100 metres, located in an area dense with red grass near a number of natural arches and rock stacks. Transmission origin approximately 400 meters west northwest of Life Pod 4's last known location. I think I know where they are. Well, then, okay, they're near the they're near the bow. They're near the boog of the Aurora. Let's get the Seamoth then. Head over. Thank you, Reeps. Thank you very much, Reeps. Uh, might need to give the Seamoth a quick. 
quick rub with the repair tool. Whoopsie. Uh, repair tool. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Uh, pull that. There we go. Right. Spin round. Save. What's that? Did I see Dinkle try to play this game? He's absolutely terrified and trying to work through the fear. <laughs> well, to be fair, so was I. I was a total fucking wreck when I first tried this. I wouldn't go out the uh, the escape pod at night. I was like, fuck that, I'm not going into the water at night. Okay. Indeed, I do have the... Sorry. I do have the moon pool blueprint, yes. Sorry. So they can't be in this seagrass field, so they must be on the other side. Because, do you remember where I landed? There was another red grass field on the opposite side? I mean, I think. Yeah. So let's go this way. We're looking for life pod six. For the people joining the stream, welcome. I hope you're having a, lo I hope you're having a lovely weekend. Please know that like oh is it gonna land in there? Oh, oh close mate. Close but no cigar. Whoop, don't you bite me. <laughs> they like to move metal and other bits of debris. I think they're territorial. Thank you, Sim. Thank you very much, Sim. There's my pod. Okay. So let's head down here. So I think they're in here somewhere. Lots of sand sharks. Oh. We've got them. Sorry. Thank you, recall. GG. Thank you very much. Another one ripped open from the top. Something pulled its way in, maybe? Ripped its way in. Let's have a look. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I'll be right. Vital signs stabilizing. A bit of lead. Some flares. A PDA. Life pod six, crew log number two. New PDA data. Any crew log number one? Open data box. Ultra fit, uh, ultra glide fin. New blueprint acquired. Do you mind? Ow, my flesh. Knob. Aha. Crew log one. Integrating new PDA data. Let's have a look. Data bank. So life pod six, crew log one. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So where are the rescue teams? They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. Uh, okay. So they survived the landing, and they were on the surface, obviously, because we got the picture. <laughs> head of human resources. Okay. So, crew log, yeah. Crew log number two. What are you doing? You're going to 
on so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Bugger. They're dead. Okay. Shit. Is mine the only pod that made it? I mean, all the others have exploded because they tampered with the batteries, lit flares, or just were taken out by nearby predators. Sucks. Okay. That would explain why there was lead in there. They were bringing it back to try and make those radiation suits. Okay, they're long dead. They're part of this ecosystem now. That's life pod four. Life pod six. Sorry, that's life pod six. Life pod four was nearby, wasn't it? Stand by. Life pod four. A distress signal has been received from life pod four, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Flotation device is active. Life pod located at sea level. Pod is in close proximity to radio radioactive fallout from the Aurora. Transmission origin approximately 150 meters northwest of the Aurora support midsection. That's very close in the radiation zone. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Decay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Shit. Okay. Well, they're not on the surface anymore. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. Trouble is, I know what's out there. Okay. Second. Oh, big salt deposit. Alas, I can't seem to extract resources from that yet. I'm guessing it's a sea moth upgrade. Welcome aboard, Captain. A very large coral field. Another one of these. Are you guys counting the number of fish that I'm killing in road kill road killing? Ooh, what's this? Is that a piece of the Aurora? No, it's a natural rock formation. Oh, they are still at sea level. <coughs> oh no. <coughs> Sorry, pardon me. <coughs> I'm gonna die. <coughs> oh. Oh, I tell you, something. <coughs> something savage my lungs. About a week ago. <coughs> I don't know what it was, but it just. I thought it was asthma at first, so I ignored it. <coughs> Which probably wasn't clever. But I tell you, it's. Fluid. My lungs are like paper now. It's really, really very uncomfortable. <clears throat> okay, I'll get some fluid soon. Something ripped its way in. Cre 
creature decoy attracts creatures to it to its location. Can be deployed by hand or by submarine. Blueprint acquired. Acquired. iPod 4 crew log. Integrating new PDA data. Honey bunny, I'm trying to get comfortable. What are you doing, sweet pea? For those not familiar, this is Lulu. She's a four year old French bulldog, and she's a bit of a diva, as I'm sure a lot of the breed members of the breed are. Are you right, honey? Hmm, okay, right. Bear with me, I gotta do something important. Covered salmon blasted off the carcass with a hose, I guess. Yummy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> she's okay. She's warm, she's comfy, she's about to have some food. Hmm? You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Right. Thank you, Tippy. Thank you very much, Tippy. Thank you. And Black Breddy and, <clears throat> and Digi. <coughs> I'm going to cough again. Sorry. Uh. Oh. Sorry, I do think I'm struggling. I will do my best. Whew. Yeah, I don't know what it was, but just something ripped straight through me. Okay, so let's check the logs. Thank you, Hedge Hoot. Thank you very much, Hedge. Voice logs. Data bank. Life pod 4. To any Altera crew. Landed in area of significant alien activity. Encountered predators in the Leviathan class, highly aggressive. Spectroscope scanner assigned species designator, Reaper. One specimen attempted to swallow the life pod, doing extensive damage in the process. Only viable option is to make for the safety of the Aurora crash site. I have retrieved a data box with the creature decoy and enough resources to fabricate a couple of them. The swim's longer than the decoy lifetime, but it should just be enough to keep them busy. If you don't find me on board the ship, presume I miscalculated. Shit. Okay. We're getting closer to the Aurora now. No survivors yet. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the life pod. Get some water. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Indeed, my life pod is badly Seek damaged. Intake immediately. Yep, working on it. <clears throat> What's the yellow target? It's one of my automated cameras. I sent them out circling the habitat. One of them encountered trouble. It's that one marked that I left it on the HUD. It encountered trouble in the form of one of those Reaper Leviathans. Yeah, I'm just leaving it there as a marker. Don't swim in that direction. Bear with me. Thank you, Pategos. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, so life pods four and six are both no goes. Their occupants are dead. Presumably. Um, unless he reached the Aurora. Okay, making bleach using a bit of coral and some of the salt. You're counting the roadkill. 
Okay. Now making disinfected water. Thank you, JJ. Thank you very much, JJ. All right. Vital signs stabilizing. We're okay. Radio transmission received. Thank you, it's Jojo. Thank you, sir. This is life pod seven. Mm. Coordinates attached. Pod is structurally sound, but the fabricators bust. Requesting assistance. Seven out. Signal coordinates corrupted. Approximate transmission origin recorded to date to bank. Life pod seven. A distress signal has been received from life pod seven, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analyzed. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator, sunk to 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity. Transmission origin approximately one kilometer southwest of the Aurora's stern. Okay, I know where that is. The computer pointed out. Is that? Ooh. Yeah, the computer pointed out that behind the ship there was surprisingly low biodiversity. So there's somewhere back there in a very dark and creepy part of the ocean. Thank you, um, Joe's, uh, Joe's, Os, and Hoss? Thank you very much. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. While we're here, do I have any blueprints that it would be wise for me to produce? Any upgrades on anything? Let's have a look. I did find that, that thing, didn't I? Well, we got the... Hang on. Stasis rifle, laser cutter... What was that distractor? Creature decoy, titanium and a wiring kit. What's this then? And a thermo blade. Ooh. Modification station. Oh, I see. Ah. I need to build one of those back at the base. Ultra glide fins and a moon pool might be smart. Maybe I should do that. Well, it's on the way back home anyway. We'll go back, we'll build, build a moon pool and a modification station. So fins, silicon, lithium, I've got that, I've got that. Okay, we've got all of them. Alright, honey. How you doing? You alright? Did you have a little fall? I think she just fell over. You alright, honey? I think she just tried to roll off the sofa. Yeah. You silly bitch, what are you doing, huh? Did you accidentally roll off the sofa? Hello. 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 Who's your good girl? Yeah. You just want dinner, don't you? You just want dinner. Well, I would give you a treat, but that yeah, that would spoil your dinner. I would be a very bad owner if I were to do that. Hmm? I'd be a terrible owner if I were to give you a treat. Hmm? Yes. Yeah, she's happy. I'll give her some food after the stream. You right, darling? Yes, you are. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's head back to base then. Um, what should I get on the way? Maybe just get, get some more organic material for the... Oopsie. For the what's it? For the, um... For the main reactor. Yeah, bring back the coral samples too. Down we go. Okay. We head this way. Thank you, um, for Julia door. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, two walks a day, madam. Sometimes three. Depends how early the second walk is. Sometimes she gets a bit... Like, wants to go out late at night, so I just take her around the block. Yeah, she's good. She's happy. wind and sponsed. Thank you sincerely. Thank you. There we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. What was that? Sorry, is that storage on the side of the sea moth? Ah, holy shit. Oh, upgrades, my bad. How cool. Didn't see any of this before.
Thank you, Royal Rabbits. Thank you very much. Am I the one walking her, or is she the one walking me? It depends if she's in a squirrel. I don't know what it is, but the bloodlust just descends the moment she sees a squirrel. Or a CAT. Mm. Yeah, you, young lady. Mm. What is that sound? Who's the, what on earth? Who's knocking on the side of the sea moth? No idea. Thank you, Bazrock. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's not roadkill. I wasn't hitting, hitting anything. It's lies. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency right. decreased. Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah. Yeah, definitely gaming he uh, HC. Uh, bullshitteries, you mean? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'm working on something else at the minute, but yeah. Uh, maybe I should just hang on a second. I'm just going to deconstruct the fabricator because having it at the door is a bit irritating. Oh, inventory full. Whoopsie. Bear with me. Fabricator inside here. Fiber mesh. Oh, I think I picked the wrong one. I should have got the Damn. Oops. Okay, hold the phone. So what would it take to build? I need a modification station. So... Do, 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 here. Computer chip, diamond, lead. Oh, wait. A computer chip. Hold the phone. Um, oh, a battery charger as well. Wiring kit. So I'm going to need a couple of these. Battery, power cell, computer chip, table, coral, gold. Oh, wiring kits are just silver. Simple enough. Okay. And a computer chip. Table, coral, gold, and copper wire. Okay, I'm going to need a few different things. I don't think I need any of the... Hang on. Calorie intake recommended. Lubricant. Can I make lubricant out of this stuff that I've got, or do I need the seeds? Yeah, I need the seeds. Oops. I bought the wrong thing. Bear with me. Stick this in here then. Get some food. Hoverfish, hoverfish. And salt. Do I have any salt? Did I bring any salt? Grab the silver. Uh, da, da. Bit of salt, there we go. Two units of silver. Uh, there we go. Okay. Sustenance, cooked food, cured food, cured hoverfish. Mm. Indeed. Yes, indeed, panic. There we go. And then consume. Vital signs stabilizing. Okay. There we go. Now let's produce two wiring kits for four silver or silver ore apiece. Indeed I can, uh, Rice. Uh, Weiss. Indeed I can. Okay, two wiring kits. Now what do we get? Let's do one. Th what should we do first? The modification station or the moon pool? Probably go for the modification station. So, computer chip, diamond. Oh, that might be trickier. A single unit of diamond. That would probably necessitate me going to the island. Unless I've still got some left. Um... Nope, it looks like I've got to go over to the island. Okay. So... Other side of the coin, then. What about the moon pool? Titanium ingot, lubricant, and lead. Okay, so go and get some a seed cluster and a whole bunch of titanium, unless I've got enough with me already. Let's have a look. Bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh. Oops, what am I doing? Drop off the coral pick up the titanium. Oh, I already have lead with me. Hooray! Okay. Uh, thank you, XX 
Dilly 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 XX. Thank you very much. Uh, I wait. I've got five on me. I need ten. Oh, what was I doing? Okay. There we go. Thank you, Jack. Um, thank you very much, Jack. Thank you. Yeah, pretty much. Leveritus. There's always a chance that the YouTube audience could reject what I'm making. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. It's just a question of trying to make it good enough. So yeah. I am working on it. We'll see how it goes. Thank you, Luduk. Thank you very much, Luduk. Titanium, 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 titanium. Okay. Right. So, I got the lead. So all I need now to make the moon pool would be a single, some, some lubrication. Okay. Let's get the sea glide and go and get some. Where would the nearest kelp forest be? Maybe east, I guess. <sighs> Thank you, Griffin. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We will see how it goes. Indeed I am, uh, Isaac. Indeed I am. Got to take the time to get it right. Okay, seed clusters. Here they are. Fibrous and chewy. I'll get the job done. I'll pick a bunch of them. Can I get... Nah, not enough space. Okay, just bring them back. Hi there, social. ZF Social's in the chat, everyone. Turn off that other beacon. Oh, really, Clayton? Huh? Okay. So where should we put this moon pool? Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. If we put it dangling off the edge, that could look kind of cool. Seamoth comes on under here. 30 seconds. We'll have a go. Right. Stand by. Go over here. Wait. Fabrication station's over here. Lubricant. Yeah, so far so good, Zach. There's certainly more to it compared to when I played the game five years ago. Okay. I've got all I need. A moon pool. A vehicle docking bay with high energy and structural requirements. Just grab the beacon. Chunky. How does it attach? Oh, do you mind? Go with me. It's off, you bitey bastard. Let's deconstruct the entrance. Okay. Does it attach or not? Do I have to build it first and then attach it? Let's just give it a whack. See, save it and then give it a whack. Thank you, Stella. Thank you very much, Stella. Can I turn it? Oops. Thirty seconds. Okay. So it attached. Ooh. Cool. It automa automatically clips on. Nice. 
Oxygen. Very nice. Cool way to enter the base, eh? We have a moon pool. Nice. And presumably this is where the sea moth clips in. Without human contact, it is normal to experience psychological discomfort. Research indicates symptoms may be partly alleviated by adopting a pet or anthropomorphizing <laughs> an inanimate object. <laughs> Wilson! Well, yeah, we could always get an aquarium. Okay, so let's see. We'll need a different... Well, we can put... Yeah, hang on. Let's just get the sea moth attached. So don't swan dive off the moon pool. Someone said. Welcome aboard, Captain. Here we go. Woo. Welcome aboard, Captain. Cool. Maybe I should have put it the opposite way around. It doesn't matter. Can I get on from both sides? Oh, I can. Excellent. Yeah. I like it. Laser cutter repair tool. Hang on a second. No. Oh, I see. It's part of the base. Hang on. Very cool. All systems online. Nice. Okay, hang on. Let's get back aboard. Hang on. So, access upgrades. Here we go. Upgrade modules. So I can just apply these anyway, can't I? Hang on. Is there a terminal or something to upgrade the... To see what we can upgrade aboard, uh, with the Seamoth? Energy charging. Oh, I see it's charging. Ah. Yeah, nice. Thank you, Liberty. Thank you very much, Liberty. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you're saying, Jerga. Well, hopefully aliens don't quarantine us, eh? But you never know. Right, so lubrication. Put this in storage somewhere. I have to build the upgrade terminal. Okay. So, I've already got the modification station. Miscellaneous. Modifi well, sorry, I've already got the blueprint for the modification station. So, a computer chip, diamond, lead. So, I've got the lead. Uh, the computer chip would require what? So, I need to find some table coral and get some gold. Oh, I've already got that. Okay, so just table coral and a diamond. Okay. Thank you, Stoff. Thank you very much, Stoff. Yeah, let's do that then. Do I have some food that I can quickly nom upon? Just some raw fish. Be nice if we can get some proper fish. Right. Modification is different. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I'm sorry. I figured it's different, but that's the other thing I was trying to build. Okay. Uh, second playthrough, CNW. But the last one was about five years ago, back when the first uh, the game first came out. Give it a save. Right. And the game had none of it. All systems online. Okay, so we need to go towards the nearby island to find some diamond. There is a bit of dry land. And also look for some table coral. Can I find some up here or? That's no, different. Bear with me. Let's just uh, get our bearings, eh? Not quite. Hang on. Where's the iron? There it is. Is that it? Yep. 
give it a save, and then on we go. Right, so we're going to head towards dry... Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. Oops. Fixed it. So that cloud cover over there. Let's go. And hopefully not get grabbed from below as we move out into the darkness of the deep, deep ocean. Thank you, Sam Pro. Thank you very much, Sam. Thank you. Are we going the right way? Yep, we are. It's fine. We'll be fine. Look how fine we are. We're fine. See? Absolutely fine. Oh my god, get me on land. Holy shit. Doesn't this thing have a light? It does, but in some circumstances, it's probably better to not be seen. Hmm? Because the darkness has teeth. So this is a small island that one of, well, two of the survivors actually made it uh, to. And prior to this, three other survivors completely independent of the Aurora, a different team, a different ship. They also found their way here. None of them survived. Thank you, Sam. Thank you very much, Sam. So on this island, we'll find a teleporter, and that teleporter is going to get us to where the diamond is. It should just be around here, I believe. The builders of that teleporter are completely unknown. A mysterious alien race. But we do know that they are very, very powerful. Huh? Whilst we're here, we may as well also have a bite to eat. An edible tree full of water. Thank you, Recon. Thank you very much, Recon. Why not swim to the island directly? Uh, there are things in the water near the island that I do not wish to go near. They do not swim close to this island. The teleport room should be here somewhere. Huh? Ow. At least I thought it was here. Where is it then? Huh? Should be making like a whirring noise so I can easily locate it. That's the pool where the two officers from the Aurora arrived debating what to do. They went over back there. Well, they headed back towards the Aurora. Ah, here we go. And there it is. The alien, de the, the alien device. Let's head down to it. No, I don't believe so, Burning. I don't know if they found it. I do know that they found... Well, they found uh, an artifact. They, so the previous survivors, they found a, uh, a tablet that the aliens had made, but I don't know if they found this room. <laughs> Copyright strike. Okay, so this is the other island, about five, six kilometers to the west. And there should be some diamond deposits.
Aha! Diamond deposits. Lithium deposits. While we're here, might as well grab a few just in case we need them later. When I picked this up the first time, my AI in my suit got pissy with me. Starting to claim that this is the property of the Altera Comp Corporation. Ha! Okay. Yeah, I think we got all we need. Let's get back to the sea moth. Ah, good luck with it, Feed. I would recommend taking a break, get a coffee or whatever, come back to it with a fresh mind. Inventory full. We'll drop a bit of the titanium. Quick, my diamond is rolling away. Come back. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, hang on. I've got a, a shit ton of... <laughs> I just realised I've got a shit ton of lithium. Well, well, some lithium. And then I'm getting back into the water? What do you think is going to happen? Okay, back through the weird alien portal. SG-1 was awesome. Okay. Oop. So yeah, for the people joining the stream, um, I'm heading I'm heading back to the submersible that we got parked nearby to return back home with a sample of diamond, which I'm going to use to manufacture a modification station back at my home base, which I hope will let me unlock better diving gear. And I'm going to use that gear to try and locate some survivors from the Aurora, the crashed vessel that I come from over there. It crashed because it was shot down by some sort of alien structure that for some reason has quarantined this world. Some sort of infection. Hmm. Not yet. I haven't gone there yet, Cod uh, Codvir. You wish there was a way to watch SG in the UK still? Really? You can't? Surely some streaming site has got it. If not, then... <clears throat> Yo-ho. There's the Seamoth. Thank you, Morgman. Thank you very much. Board, Captain. Uh, note, Thoric, this is my first time, so... Ooh, creepy. Although I have played through the game prior to... Yeah, before it had a story. So, um, yeah, about five years ago. Okay. Where's home? Beacon manager. Uh, life pod. Oh, did I get rid of it? Oops. Camera Drone 1 should still be attached to the side of the base. Where's Camera Drone 1? Ah, there it is. And we're off. Ah, dear. Hmm. Thank you, ML White. Thank you very much, ML. Thank you. And hi there, Birdie. Welcome indeed, Birdie. Ignore the giant Leviathan to our right. Thank you, Grunt. Thank you very much, Grunt. Sorry.
Thank you, Machu Picchu. Thank you very much. Thank you. And An Ankiatni. Thank you very much, Ank. Thank you. And up we go. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Right, so we have the diamond. Where is the modification station? It is here. Computer chip and lead. Alrighty then. Let's go have a look. Need to get more windows on this place, get more quartz, get some air, get some light in, you know. Fabricator. What would it take? Computer chip. Oh, bugger. I didn't find the table, Coral. Might be some on the back of that reef back. Uh, hold the phone. Drop this off. Drop this off. Alright. Thank you, Concord. Thank you very much, Concord. Holy crap, we're losing power quickly. Is that just because the... Yeah, it's just because it's charging the sea moth. Alright. Um, hold up. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Where's that reef back? Quite a few of them. Hello. Don't mind me. Stop shooting. Stop squirting your things at me. Stop it. Ow. There's quite a few of them, actually. What do you mean? Stop it. I can't see the corals that I need. No, this one doesn't have what I need. This one's too young. Thank you, Iridale. Thank you very much. Head east. Surely I'll find some of the corals that I need in the actual coral system. Okay. Don't go near the giant ominous looking tunnel. Let's surface to get some oxygen. Back down we go. Okay. Oh really? The reef back is just slow motion somebody yelling? Ah, cool. In the same way that uh, a lot of the, gr um, the elite noises in the original Halo are just people st talking backwards with a low pass filter and the pitch turned down. Right? Is that correct? I know that Wart 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 is just, uh, what's it, um, the voice actor who plays Johnson just saying, go, go, go. Okay. While oh, we're here, may as well grab a bit of food. Sorry, I'm here for, uh, yeah, the next, next uh, biome over. Thank you, John. Thank you very much, John. Thank you. And welcome, folks. Those just joining. Aha! You bog off. Stop it. Stop being a bastard. Stop it. I will stab you with this. Oh, you're quite biting. Leave me alone. I'm actually hurt. Quickly use the med kit. Da 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 da. Coral sample. Ouch! You stop biting me! Cheeky little bastard. Horrible, shitty planet, full of bitey wildlife. Mur. Anyway, we got what we wanted. Here we go. Got loads of what we wanted. <sighs> Get the 
snack on our way. Whoop. <laughs> I know I keep plugging it pretty much every survival game I play, but there's that great video by the YouTuber Folding Ideas. Uh, it's got a bit of a clickbaity title, but it's um, it's like Minecraft and the Legacy of Colonialism. Ignore the title. The video is actually pretty damn good. It talks about how these sorts of survival games are built upon what we in the West would perceive as, well, good. As in, we get to a, an area and we cultivate it and we terraform and we exploit resources. Oxygen Heedless to the thoughts and feelings of the people that live there, or the creatures that live there. It's like there's a fish nearby. Oh, that's, that's food. Yoink. <laughs> ah, there's some metal just sitting around in the ground. I think I'll mine that. Cool. So, table coral sample and a couple of a couple of hoverfish. Oh. oh really? Little little pea? Not sure what you mean, sorry. What, this stream? Okay, bear with me. Cooked no, no don't need to cook it yet. Equipment So I, I need to make uh, a computer chip, so a bit of copper wire, please. Any copper? No, that's gold. I need some copper. Uh, let's pop some of this here for later. Bear the, oop, that's gold again. Bio, -rac uh, bio reactor offline. Indeed, it's gone through the material. Uh, ooh, tiger plant seeds. Yeah, I don't really have anywhere to plant it. Can I pop it in there? Yes, I can. Okay, thank you, Flank. Thank you very much, Flank. Thank you. Uh, okay, so... Electronics, what do I need? Copper wire. Oh, I can't make copper wire. Why? Oh, I need two, that's why. Note that this is roughly in line, in line, in line. Whoops! I'm gonna leave it there just to wind up anyone joining the stream who has uh, OCD. Thank you, Flank. Thank you very much, sir. That's very kind. Thank you for your sub bomb. Thank you. Hmm? What's wrong with this picture? Gold, gold, gold. Oh, am I just grabbing gold? Is there no copper? Am I daft? That's a bunch of lead. Yeah, copper, copper. There we go. Copper wire. Okay. And then a computer chip. Okay, and then we will use these materials to manufacture a modification station. A little bit of lead here. And let's place the modification station over here in our living quarters thing next to the radio. Right. A modification station. Is Cake in the chat? Hi, Cake! Cake's in the chat, folks. Survival knife upgrades. I can upgrade it to a thermo blade. Cooks and sterilizes small organisms for immediate consumption. Oh, interesting. Air tank upgrades. Ultra high capacity tank. Fin upgrades. Ultra glide fins. Okay. We may as well get these. Lithium. I've got plenty of that. Cyclops. Ooh, that's my big submarine. I don't yet have that yet. Don't yet have that yet. Okay, so thermo blade and battery. Can I be cheeky? Do I have an empty empty battery here? Uh, nah, fine, just do it. Here we have a thousand degree knife. Right, high capacity O2 tank and lithium. Let me just go grab some of that. Indeed. Oh, wow, it is. A thousand degree knife versus fish. Okay, lithium, lithium. Um, Cake, your gift, if you can hear me, uh, your gifts have arrived, and thank you very much for them. I haven't opened them yet, they're in their boxes, and I will save them for Christmas, and I will open them and see what Lulu thinks. Thank you for them. Oop, 
just need to take the tank off my back, I think. There we go. Thank you, Felix Linus. Thank you. Kate says you're welcome. Thank you very much, Kate. And thank you, Boog Plays. Thank you very much, Boog. Ultra high capacity tank. Capacity tank, even. Okay, nice. And now for fins. So two units of silicon rubber, lithium, titanium. Good, All already on my back. Thank you, Concordy. Concord uh, 007. Thank you kindly, thank you. Uh, what's the other thing it wanted? You know what, I've already forgotten. Lithium. Good job I got a bunch of this when I was in that cave. Oh, rubber. Thank you. Okay. Ultra glide fins. Streamline construction enhances swim speed considerably by comparison to regular fins. Okay. Nice. Job done. Data bank. Blueprints. Modification station. Where the standard fabricator atomically rearranges raw materials to form complex devices, the mod station is able to combine complex devices to enhance their function. Most industrial vessels are fitted with a complement of equipment modification stations which enable engineers to adapt their tools on the fly. Bear with me, just having a quick drink, wetting the whistle. To conserve hard drive space, the modification station is excluded by default from most personal emergency blueprint libraries. However, extreme environments such as ocean and desert class planets may necessitate the adaption of basic survival tools for un unanticipated applications. For this reason, access to the mod station is always recommended. Okay, creature decoy. We recently grabbed one of, the one of these. Vibrates, cycles air and water and sends out randomized high-frequency sound waves to emulate a living organism. May be hand-placed or launched from a compatible Cyclops submarine. Okay. Attracts predators of all kinds. Might be worth grabbing a couple of these before we venture out. If we can. Where is it? Have I gone past it? Am I dumb? Don't answer that. Creature decoy. Titanium and a wiring kit. Okay. Indeed, wetting the whistle. As in, throat. Voice, like, tube. <laughs> voice to voice tube? Vocal cords. I'm okay. Titanium? Drop this off. Don't need this right now. Drop this food off. And maybe some of this water. We don't need all of this. We'll have a drink and a bit to eat before we leave. Um, okay. I believe there is true speaker, but I don't really use Discord, I'm afraid. So I don't really know what its purpose is. Sorry. Um, okay. So I've got the wiring kit. What was the other thing I, I wanted? I needed? It was... Oh, titanium. Just... That's it? That simple? Just titanium. Okay. Any more silver? That's a bit of quartz. Yeah, there's a bit there. Hang on. Silver ore. Quartz. Lithium. Okay. Alright. Oh, do we have a radio message? No, not yet. Oh, wrong one. What's the energy source in this base? Solar and a bioreactor at the minute. Poikos. Not much. Deployables. Creature decoy. Times three? Ooh. Times three? Okay. Let's hang on to these, just in case we get in trouble. Put those in slot four? Can I do that? Oh. Can be deployed by hand. Can it? I can't seem to place it here. Maybe I need to... Maybe it only lets me do it when I'm outside. Okay. Let's go and look for another batch of survivors, shall we? So drop off this material. I don't need it. Drop off this wiring kit, this lithium. This power cell can stay behind. Okay. 
have something to drink. Maybe a quick bite to eat. What should I have? Um, just a couple of boomerangs. I don't, I don't think I have much in the way of salt deposits. Okay. Yes, indeed. I'm, I'm 18. Right. So, let's go and search for another life pod. So, one of them was quite close... To, well, the last... So, four and six we've discovered. One was very close to the Aurora. What else do we have here? So, advanced theories, habitats, Aurora survivors. Here we go. Life Pod 7. Let's go look for Life Pod 7. A distress signal has been received from Life Pod 7, but the attached coordinates were corrupted. Last available photographic data has been downloaded and analysed. Crew reported problems with their onboard fabricator, sunk to 200 metres in an area of low ecological activity. One kilometre southwest of the Aurora Stern section. In which case, before we go then, we may as well send out one of our drones. They might be close enough. So they're over there, aren't they? Just off this edge. Let's send one of our drones. Send camera one. Is camera one... There we go, it was, yeah. It was already attached to the side. So let's see what the drone can find. Thank you, Predictable and Kildrex. Thank you. So this is that giant chasm. All right. So the aurora should be this way. Trouble is, I think it's going to lose connection once it goes beyond, say, about 600 meters. I think. Give it a save before I... Oh, fuck's sake. Hang on. Thank you, Clem. Thank you very much, Clem. Ah, <sighs> dear. Wrong direction? No, I think it's okay. Oop, he's having trouble. Oh no, has the game crashed? Bear with me. Oh no, we're okay. We're okay. Just took a moment there. Thank you, Clem. And Predictable and Kildrex and Concord. Thank you. Okay. So this is the area that the AI, the AI reported that had low biodiversity. So they sunk to about 200 meters. Shit, no, we're rapidly losing connection. Shh, looks like we're going to have to go out there personally. Explore this place. No, it's stuffed. Okay, leave it here. We're going to have to go personally. Thank you, Viddens. Thank you very much, Viddens. I'm sure we'll be fine. Hmm? What could possibly go wrong? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. Thank you, Gumbo. Thank you. people screaming beacon damn so this is the limit of our submersibles range 
I see pieces of debris from the Aurora. No sign of a life pod. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Check the picture again. Giant rocks. It's a bit similar to this, or at least this area. I wonder if I can. No. Thank you, Lucky. Thank you very much, Lucky. Very different. I don't think they're here. Any other clues? 200 meters in an area of low ecological activity, one kilometer southwest of the Aurora Stern. That could be a huge area. Thank you, Retro. Thank you very much, Retro. Sorry. Thank you, Travesty. Thank you very much. Ooh, hello. Feels like we're getting close. Giant spikes, very similar to this. Whoa, okay. <clears throat> Wasn't me. No, this is too deep. This rapidly goes beyond 200. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Just a reef back. Holy crap. Turn around to saw an enormous shadow. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm fine. My heart just skipped a beat there. <coughs> I'm okay. Um, bear with me. Let me just surface quickly. Don't bump into a reaper. 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 Please don't bump into a reaper. Maybe we're no, we're in the roughly the right area. Maybe we just need to move closer to the closer to the aurora. Maybe we're too far away. Thing is, you'd hear a reaper before you see it. They are not quiet.
Okay. I have no idea where they could be. We'll keep moving northeast. Thank you, Pit and Scratch. Thank you very much. Thank you. Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. We're okay. Thank you, Simp. Wasn't me. Thank you very much, Simp. They can't be in that biome. This is the edge of the, the grass fields, and here's a kelp forest? Okay, maybe they're past the kelp forest? Let's keep moving towards the aurora. Surfacing briefly. Right. So quickly, just going to equip the repair tool and just give it a quick, quick rub. There we go. Give it a save. So a kilometer from the stern. Let's keep moving towards it then and save it before I cock up. So for those just joining, oh god, that one's infected, look. Whoa. We're searching for survivors from the... Will you piss off? Weird screaming shark. Oh, we could be on the right lines, look. Ooh. I think we're on the right lines, folks. Hang on. It was much closer than I thought. Than, yeah. So these spikes... In fact, that's one of those sharks, isn't it? Ooh. Oh, I don't want to be out here at night. And yet here we are out here at night. Thank you, Thompson. Thank you very much. Ooh, ooh, jackpot! Is this it? Life pod seven? Thank you, Bob. Thank you very much. Life pod seven. We're here. They're screwed. These sharks are everywhere. Still, could be worse. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. What on earth is that? No idea what the fuck that is. Log. Integrating new PDA data. A toy car? What the fuck? The children in here? Data bank, crew seven, log. I've tried everything. 
The analysis circuits of the fabricator are fried. You can barely manufacture the most basic of materials. Want a battery? Here, have a children's toy. Need deep sea diving equipment? Have some lab tech. Hungry? I'll turn that fruit into dust for you. I'm going forward with trial and error. I hit every button here, it's got to make something useful eventually. Shit. Fucking hell. Everyone's equipment was malfunctioning. And this guy just got ripped, pulled down to the depths by something horrible. Right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Life pod seven. They're dead. He's dead. Yeah. Random toy car. Thank you, the spaceman of dreams. Thank you very much. Let's get the fuck out of here. Where to now, though? I don't think I have any further clues towards any survivors. No, I found all of the Jesus Christ to get the crap. Oh Jesus fuck! Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, yeah. The native wildlife do not want me here. That's quite clear. Let's go to shallower shallower climbs, shall we? A different biome. A nicer biome. Okay. So, we did receive that message from the corporation itself. A message broadcast to pretty much all survivors here for some security codes for the insides of the Aurora. If we were to make our way there, we might be able to, well, either find any survivors who made their way to the Aurora, or at least find out what happened to them, and maybe get some communications equipment operational. The thing is, I really need to tell people to stay away, not to come here. Any ship that attempts to land is going to get shot down by that absurdly high-tech turret. We need to stop people from just throwing their lives away trying to rescue anyone stranded on 4546B, the name of this world. Okay. We'll head back, get some food, get some water. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much, Joe. Wasn't me. Someone else. Where's the base? Did I miss it? Uh huh. No, it's nearby. Just past that wreckage. Okay. Out of my way, fish. Welcome to the huh. captain. I would rising, but she's sleeping right now. But thank you. Base power does look a bit low. Okay. Right, so we've got some upgrades for us personally. Random toy car. What the fuck is this? For real? Okay. <laughs> Random souvenirs, I guess. Right. Yeah. Make good use of what we find. I mean, it's not as if maybe we're going to get anything else for a time. Oh, shit. Didn't work. Let's leave it there. Uh, okay. 
No radio transmissions from other survivors. Bear with me for just a second. So, additional... What's this? Thermal plant. Converts heat to energy at medium efficiency. Floodlight, floodlight spotlights, exterior grow beds. Solar panels. Additional segments of the base could prove useful. Alien containment ingredients unknown. We still need to learn how to make that. Thank you, Stu Puff. Thank you very much, Stu. Ah, battery charger. Could prove useful. Can charge multiple batteries simultaneously, although we'll need power. Proper power. Yeah. A couple of additional solar panels wouldn't go amiss. We'll need quartz to do that, though. Okay. Let's... What's this? Microscope. Non-functional. Yeah. Souvenir. Yeah, let's get some organic material and just feed, uh, yeah, fuel the generator. Well, I've got some here. Acid mushrooms, a few bladder fish, hopper fish. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh, bish, and bosh. Sustenance cured food. Nom, 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 nom. Have some of that. Lovely. And something to drink. A couple of things to drink. Creep vine seeds. Indeed, I need to go find some more of that. Okay, what's the time? It's 24 minutes past six. We could do with some dinner fairly soon. Um, what to do in the meantime? So, the trip to the Aurora could be a big thing, as in it's... Maybe I shouldn't do it on a whim. Uh, what do I need now? Further upgrades to the base could be useful, to be honest. Let's just do a few quick upgrades. Well, a few upgrades to the base and then I'll bog off and get some dinner, I think. Yeah, it seems sensible. Okay. Bioreactor. So, get some quartz, get some tight. Well. Whoops, what's that? Swimming through. Oh, we don't have the aquarium. Uh, the ali alien containment. Hmm. How are the YouTube videos going? <laughs> um, not great, Mephile. Well, I'm, so I've nearly finished three of them back to back. Uh, nearly. You're going to have to give me a bit more time. Hang on. So I'm trying to finish test renders. All systems online. To watch through some videos to try and... What's that? Piece of the sea moth? Just a piece of the sea moth. Right. Passing 100 oh, bioreactor. Uh. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So yeah, I'm trying to get three videos done for you, but with each render I find a bunch of fuck-ups, so... Ugh. Ooh, salt, that'll be useful. Yoink. Uh, no, I don't know what that is, Tetris. Tetris. Uh, I know that Smeagol keeps sending me gift things on Steam, like anime shit mostly. But I don't know what they are. Okay. What am I after? What am I? I need quartz, don't I? Let's go get a bunch of quartz and maybe some stalker teeth as well. Where would I be able to find quartz? I think I can get quite a lot of it in that deep ravine nearby. It appeared on the scanner. Okay. Wasn't me. Where's that deep ravine? Is this it here? Wasn't me. No, I think I might be going in the wrong direction. What's that? Warning. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Piece of the Aurora? No, it's... Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 no. Hold the phone. 
no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Back, reverse. Yep, Leviathan, reverse. No, no, no. Whatever you're doing is I accidentally strayed past the beacon. Do not stray past that beacon. Do not stray past that beacon. Get past away. It's the hunting ground of the Leviathans. Do you mind? What? What do you want? Fuck off. Right. Um. I'm not going any. I'm not going down there. Where's the um? Need to find quartz. Where's that deep ravine? Quartz? Big quartz. Can't dig it though. Why am I scared? Big teeth. Raw. Nom. Dead. Me. should be quite a bit of quartz in this area, in this trench. Let's get out and have a look. Passing 100 meters, oxygen efficiency decreased. Passing 200 meters, oxygen efficiency greatly decreased. We'll be okay. Don't you panic, computer. computer. Quite a lot of quartz. Buzzing. Something's buzzing. Blood oil. What's this thing? New blueprint acquired. The fuck was that? This ecological bio. Much of the of the Welcome aboard, Captain. Conditions for stimulating terror in humans. Why? What's blood oil? What have I just grabbed? What's this thing? Contains blood vine seeds. Oh, it's just a seed. Thank fuck for that. I thought I'd grab some hideous horror thing. Well, this place is creepy. Magnetite. What's that? Ooh. Creepy. What's this thing? Nothing. Blood oil. I see. So what, they're grabbing ocean snow, the organic material that's falling. The coral's eating it. Gold. Resource rich. This chasm's resource, resource rich. Interesting. Mm. Let's resurface. Okay, so I've got a bunch of glass that I can process, take it back to the base, then I'll go to a nearby kelp, kelp field and get some of the, uh, what is it, the stalker teeth to make enameled glass, and then we can make additional segments of the base, particularly the observatories. Whoops, I'm heading straight towards the camera that says do not go past that mark. Thank you, Sev. Thank you very much, Sev. Now 
we get? Wait, I should have just gone to the dam. Uh, but derp, I forgot I had this. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay. Let's drop off some supplies. Hmm. Eh, process glass. Tight. What's this? What can we use it for? Whoop. It's not clear yet. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Alright, so that's for food and water. Leave that there. Glass. I've already got a bunch. So what's this stuff here? Ooh. Creepy. Can I drop it? No. Leave it behind for now. I'll come back for that. Salt deposit. Just grab a bite to eat. Salted hoverfish. Sustenance cured food. Cured hoverfish. Okay. A sample flask. Just random shit that I found in that pod. Okay, so, what now then? Solar panels would be, damn, I shouldn't have processed all that quartz. My mistake, oh well. Um, additional segments of the base. Titanium, multi-purpose room, monopool, observatory, enameled glass. Hmm, okay. Well, tell you what, let's just put in some windows because we need them anyway. Hang on. Where can I put them? Yeah, hang on. Right, can I put them in sections of the roof here or not? No. Can I put them here? No? Windows. Ah, I see. I can put them in select segments all over here. Uh, yes, yeah, well, why not? Hang on. And what about this as well? Oh, well actually, let's get this first. Let's, let's get the enameled glass. Hang on. Where's that stalker tooth? Do I still have it? I do. do, 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 do. There we go. How much do I need? Uh, two. Let's go get another tooth. Watch out for hull integrity. I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be absolutely fine. What could possibly go wrong? Let's go. How do I respond to the accusations of, of being British? Well, I tend to say nothing. I just drink tea angrily. That's not even true. I don't even drink tea. It's not for me. I'm a coffee man myself. Okay, let's look for some stalker teeth. Ah, <sighs> dearie me. No, how do I respond to the accusation that I'm British? Well, I tend not to think about it and instead consider the fact that the question is being asked, presumably by someone not English, in a language that's not their own. <laughs> Cultural victory achieved. That's what that is. Silver. Why am I wasting space with this? Let's go and find some stalker teeth. They should be down here. Woo, don't touch these. Very dangerous. Don't touch those. Don't touch those. They'll sting you and you'll die. And that would suck. Do they shine or anything? A bit of salt. Maybe all the way down here? There's a 
boomerang. Are they quite rare? Grab the quartz. Maybe if I slap the scanner on, I'll be able to find them. Punch the stalkers. Ah, here's one. Stalker tooth. If you give them scrap to chew on, they shed teeth. For real? Give it a go. What happens if I... Hang on, let's try one of these. Can I deploy one? Yeah, let's test one of these. Maybe attract one of these little bastards. Hang on. What is that noise? Haven't figured that out yet. Hang on. Deploying decoy. No stalkers in the area? What is that? Is that just ambient noise or is that a particular species? Oh, is it, is it the beacon? No, it was going before I even deployed the beacon. Maybe it's, just a, maybe it's just atmospheric ambience. It's a strange species. Or oh, the sound of a strange species. Hang on. No, I don't think so, Zordon. The reef backs make a much deeper sound. This sounds more like a whine. Oh, can I scan this? Never did. Uh. Brain coral. I'm surprised that there's no stalkers in the area. They're normally everywhere. Oh, here one. Hang on. To beacon manager, switch on the sea moth. Find the sea moth, which is through my powers of deduction, I determine that the sea moth is there. Hmm. It's a bit of a pickle. I would have figured that the stalker teeth would be all over. Grab this piece of salt. Well, we've already got enough to make the, the to make the observatory. Welcome okay. Aboard, Captain. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to make the observatory, and then I'm going to probably go and get some dinner. I think. What is for dinner? Alas, I don't have much in the way of food because um, wasn't me. Because something's up with my lungs, and I didn't want to risk going to a supermarket if there is indeed something a bit more serious about these symptoms. So I'm running on rice and a few tinned like chili con carnies. Like crap as the tin chili con carnies. Oh also takeaways because I'm being very naughty. Thank you Lauren. Thank you very much Lauren. No I didn't Froggy. Uh, I couldn't. It wouldn't let me. As in the local test centers. Uh, I had to be within the first seven days and you had to, had to display one of three symptoms that I didn't have. I fix it? No? Oh, it's again. Right. And thank you for offering cake. <laughs> no, I'm fine. 
I just want to, I, I really want to get to the supermarket. Um, so it really sucks because I used to go to the supermarkets late at night when you had the, all of the aisles, because, you know, just people, people suck. Um, just going around in crowds and standing around waiting at checkouts. Just being able to do a, do a big shop at night was, oh, it was so awesome, like a year ago. I want to go and buy, like, I want to go make, like, a huge slow-cooked pork thing, whatever. Just big flavours and, ah, I love cooking. I really love cooking. Mm. Okay. One minute. What am I doing? I'm going to open this. So, observatory. So I can build one. Oh, it's smaller than I thought. That's what she said. Uh, one compartment, titanium. Let me just get the lead and titanium, then go outside. Titanium. Lead. Drop these decoys off. And also have something to eat or drink before my character. Oh, shit, fuck. Do we have no more water? Uh... Coral, salt. Just get a bit more water. Bear with me. Making bleach. Ha. Huh. Okay. Well, cut them some slack. Um, key, key holy. Uh, you got to understand that. The Twitch chat is often full of thousands of people who are jumping up and down and screaming. So, yeah, you know, they've got they've kind of got to maintain a bit of a, a firm grip on the leash, otherwise it just becomes a shit show. So do cut them some slack. You can't really have you can't really have more than a million followers or whatever and have a sort of laissez-faire approach to your to your modding without your Twitch chat chat just becoming insufferable. Vital signs stabilizing. And they're cunts, as Duckslayer puts. Especially Duckslayer. Don't listen to that man. Ever. Okay. Stepping outside. Past 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. So, let's have a look then. Ooh, pretty. So, can I build... I guess I'd need a ladder component, wouldn't I, or something? How does this work? So that's where the bioreactor is. Can I build a second floor? Is that something I can do? Deconstruct this window. Oops, I see. Okay. How does one build, like, a second bit? Vertical connector, I see. Aha! So... Just test it. But, but... Oops. Or maybe I have to build the thing first. Hang on. T compartment. How does it work? Like this, I guess? Oh, it does it automatically? Maybe not. Stack living quarters on top of each other. How do I... Depends. The vert vertical connector in between. But sorry, how do I climb to the, the, the next section up? Sorry, did, did, is it clear what I'm trying to do or is it dumb? Go inside and build a ladder? Alright. Welcome aboard, Captain. It was like here, wasn't it? Ladder, ladder, ladder. Uh, that doesn't look very like a good idea. Let's see what happens. Ah, okay. Is it wise having it right in the middle of the corridor? <laughs> Hang on. Oh, I see. Just one click and you're up. Ah, cool. Okay. Nice. So where can I put this? Can I build them in here or? It's a bit of titanium. I suppose there's nothing wrong with having it here. I can just go around it. Who cares? Ah. Cool. Multi-purpose room. 
So what happens if we just build an observatory here? Just curious. Passing nice. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Yeah, I could have like all of my research Unless stuff below. Oh. With a specific research task in mind, observatories and other glass modules are imprudent for survival purposes. Nonsense. You get to enjoy the view. Okay. Vertical connector hatch. Yeah. Very cool indeed. Oh, an aquarium. Let's build an aquarium. Isn't there... There's some... There's some... I don't know. Like there's hubris there, isn't it? I'm going to build an aquarium to keep fish at the bottom of the ocean. Fish that live just outside the aquarium anyway. Ah. Aquarium. For science. Do I have any... Presumably they're dead. They've... This fish has been in the locker for like several days. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Um, that is one pretty resilient peeper. Mate, I got bad news for you. Uh, calorie intake recommended and you're probably the only source of food in this base right now. No, let's not be mean to him. Yeah, you hang out there, mate. It. Yeah, this has come a long way, hasn't it? Back five years ago, you could only really build like a small corridor and not really do anything in it. Oh, hello, Peeper. Hello. Who's your Peeper? Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, it blinks. That's kind of creepy. Use aquarium. Yeah. Edible fish. High calorie count. We just go grab something to eat. La da 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 da. Whoa. Yep, he's a tasty spade fish. Passing 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. Come here, come here, you foodie bastards. Oh, yeah, check out the observation bay as well. Hang on. I'll have that while eating some spade fish. I'll do that while, eat while eating spade fish. Is that some salt down there? What's that? Quartz. That'll do. What just squeaked? Oh, ow, bitey bastard. Peeper. Spadefish. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. I'm okay, Nikki Hick. I hope you're well also. Yeah. Um, I need to get back to editing soon. I'm just chilling. Okay, another peeper. Eh, two peepers. No. Oh. Right, the other mother. Yeah, the other guys aren't so lucky. Om nom nom. Thank you, Bean and Nusram. Thank you very much. Okay. Om nom nom nom. Oh yeah, I realised I could have used a knife to cook them automatically, couldn't I? Ah. Let's have a look at the observation deck. Hey, I could get like a chair and stuff up here. What was there music? Did that kick in because I got to the observation deck? I think it did. Ah. Pretty. 
man chair. <laughs> Welcome to Subnautica. Thank you, Sideshow. Thank you very much, Sideshow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree. This is now my masturbatorium. So, it's about five minutes to seven. It's probably a good time for me to go and get some dinner, I think. I'm quite hungry. Uh, I had lunch fairly early. So thank you for watching. So on this stream, we've managed to find the remnants of life pods uh, four and six, and also life pod... I can't remember its name. The one further south off the edge of that cliff. No survivors, I'm afraid. It looks like one life pod exploded because someone fiddled with a flare near the fuel line. The other one was taken by a Leviathan-class creature, and the last one had severe equipment malfunctions, which prevented it from spawning any survival gear. Next, I suppose, we need to take the Sea Moth over to the Aurora and see if we can get inside the actual vessel itself. A difficult mission. Okay. Get inside the Aurora, maybe try and repair the reactors, or do something to stop it from leaking radiation into the water. And also keep investigating these alien ruins and try and find more of them. So, I don't know if I'm streaming later. Please bear with me. I need to get on with a bit more editing. So it may be editing instead. Um, until, well, I don't know. I'll figure it out later. Until then, I'm just going to go get some food. Uh, get Lulu some food. Probably take her for a walk as well. Um, we'll see. So thank you for watching and thank you for subbing if you did. Thank you, Yading Sing and Sideshow and Nibulas and Sad Muffin and Bean. Thank you for your kindness, folks. You're very generous. Thank you. Right. Ah, let's give it a save. Hmm. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Um, get the funk on. Thank you, sir. Right, just popping out. There we go. And thank you, Punyo. Much appreciated, Punyo. Let's see. Who's currently doing what? Let's have a quick look. Okay. So Sai is doing his racing game as Zeto Corsa. So is Sheep. Okay, no other members of ZF. Yeah, didn't uh, Dinkle be... Uh, sorry, not Dinkle. Didn't KJ said he was doing a charity thing? Is he still doing it? Hang on. So you know that um, uh, the guy from Boston from the whole, uh, the whole Fast videos? What's he doing? So the I'm walking here guy, he's doing something for charity. He's playing Phasmophobia. Okay, that could be interesting in and of itself. But yes, if you... If you're, well, hang on, what's he doing exactly? So he's doing... Uh, where's his charity? Is there like a charity thing? Screaming for charity, it's called. Uh, la -da 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 -da. Okay, well, I can't see where... It I'm sure he'll explain. Um, so feel free to give him some support if you fancy. I'm sure he would really appreciate it. I'm going to host up KJ. So I'm walking here from the whole fast videos. Hang on a minute. I can't spell raid because I'm stupid. There we go. Thank you for watching, folks. All the best. Have a lovely, lovely evening.